Hey everybody, welcome to the shop. So it's Monday morning, fairly early. Uh, yes, I do actually talk and I wasn't gonna talk for this video because I feel it's incredibly awkward talking to a camera in a shop by myself. But I brought my dog with me and he probably thinks it's just as weird that I'm doing this, but that's all right. Uh, the reason I'm talking to the camera today is that I kinda need to explain uh, what it is I'm gonna do. I have two boards here. This is how I typically typically get my lumber for the shop. It's called rough sawn lumber. It's really only about two steps away from being in the ground and being a tree. It's been cut into boards, it's been kiln dried, and it's been shipped to my shop. And what I wanted to do is show everybody kind of the traditional approach to milling this and turning it into parts. In contrast, of course, to the more modern approach using machines, it's kind of a cool comparison. A lot of people don't know how furniture was made 150 years ago. So those techniques are things that I have been fortunate to learn. I don't use all of those techniques, but uh, today I'm going to show you how we surface a board with hand planes, which we got set up, and then how we would surface it with a machine. And you'll get to see the difference in techniques and the difference in the amount of time it takes to do it. So uh, lucky for you guys from this point on, I'm not going to talk anymore so you can just enjoy the quiet work.
have it guys two perfectly dimensioned boards two totally different processes one using the traditional hand tools the other using more modern machines I hope you guys enjoyed that and learned a little bit um, I just want to say thanks real quick for tuning in in five months I've gotten uh, about around 60,000 subscribers which I never would have thought I've gotten that kind of support so I appreciate everyone who watches these uh, I've got a ton of work to do today so I better get to it but again I appreciate it look forward to making more videos